Hey, welcome to Dirt Guy Drive Time, my diary, vlog, and sometimes rant channel. Uh, it is Thursday, September 12th, not July 12th, September 12th, 2019, and I am heading home from work early today. Uh, I got fired. No, not really. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, woke up in the middle of the night with some kind of stomach action happening and uh, it kept me up pretty much the whole night and then when my alarm finally went off I just I hadn't had any sleep I was just I was so exhausted so tired um, but you know I, I try to go to work every day no matter what and so I uh, was waking up and I was having a hard time keeping my eyes open but I decided if I took a shower, uh, that would fix things. So I took a shower, felt a little better, put a gallon of coffee down my throat, drove off to work. And I gotta tell you, it was a struggle getting to work. I normally drive um, pretty fast, let's say, because I don't wanna be arrested, but um, not today, baby. I drove a little slower and uh, had the window open so the cold air would hit me in the face to keep me alert. I got to work and I thought, okay, I can do this, but about 6.30, I texted my boss, I'm like, bro, I don't think I'm gonna get through this whole day. So he told me, get done what you can get done, set up your team and just get the hell out of there. So that is what I did. So uh, I don't know, I worked just, just over half a day. Hey, congratulations to me, what a professional. But one of the things I wanted to get done today was um, I got my project engineer is a really good kid. Uh, he's got a master's degree in construction management. I don't know why I call him a kid. Maybe it's because he's in his mid-20s and he's got a master's degree. He's been struggling a little bit with getting things done timely, accurately, things being complete. And uh, there's two, two ways construction would handle this. Predominantly, it, it would be to call the dude in and say, what is your effing problem? We're paying you to do a job. You're not doing the job and, and just yell at him. But that's not the way our company does things, first of all, and that's just not my style. So instead, I brought him into my office, closed the door, and this, the look he had on his face, he thought for sure he was getting fired or something. So I, I opened by saying, uh, you're not in trouble. I just wanted to check in with you and see how you're doing. That's how I opened so he relaxed a little bit, and we had a pretty good conversation. Um, I learned some things about his work day. You know, I, he was he was planted on me. Uh, he used to work in the office and come see us a couple days a week. But I wasn't a supervisor, my director was. But now that he's there every day of the week, I'm kind of a supervisor, I guess, in so many ways. I feel responsible for him. And so I learned some things about his, his daily routine. I learned some things about uh, workload that gets added that I'm not I wasn't presently aware of and so we covered all of that and then um, I sent a private email off to my two bosses saying here here's what I want to do with uh, with our little friend and uh, they're in agreement and they thought it was cool that you know I'm taking the initiative but here's the thing um, and I'm bringing this up and again not so much comedy today people you're lucky I'm still awake while I'm driving um, Whoa. And then I almost witnessed an accident. You know, you get one of those about twice a week. Boy, that got my adrenaline going. I don't know how that guy didn't hit that guy. He was swerving all over the freeway. Too bad I don't have a camera on the front. Where was I? Oh, you know, I've got this, this basic tenet of my belief system, which is to put good into the world, encourage other people, lift other people up, help other people on their journey. And, you know, it's interesting. There's two people in my life that... Um, outside of my immediate family. Two people that I'm trying to do that with. One of them is, is this kid. And so that, that's the direction I went with him. Another one, there's a, a friend of mine that uh, actually I've never met face to face. I'm going through something. And in his case, uh, I think it needs to be a little bit tougher love. A little slap in the face. Like, what the hell are you doing right now? You need to put on your big boy pants and make this happen, that kind of thing. I, I know, I'm pretty tired, so I'm probably not making any sense right now. But so, uh, but even still, in that, it would be to help somebody get through it, to get along, 
and um, you know heal up a little bit and, and move forward. So, yeah, guys, that's what I got for you. I'm hoping I can get enough sleep that when I get home that I can still get up and go enjoy date night with Cindy Brown, the queen of everything, my wife. Uh, but if not, I'm just going to sleep until morning. So anyway, I wish I had more for you, but that's what I got for you. So until uh, until tomorrow for the big weekend wrap-up report, uh, my name is Steve Brown, and don't fall asleep at the wheel.